Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on alternating series. In all our previous videos, we deal with summation un. The given series is a positive term series. It is very clear all the terms are positive. In this session, we are going to deal with alternating series. So, what is an alternating series? Suppose you take the first term u1, it is positive. Then u2 is negative, u3 is positive u4 is negative etc. So, let us go into the session. A series in which terms are alternatively positive or alternatively negative is called as an alternating series. It is represented as summation minus 1 whole power n plus 1 u n n equal to 1 to infinity. When you substitute the values of n, you can see for u1 it will become positive. For u2 it will become negative. Then u3 positive, u4 negative. It goes on. Now, to check these kind of alternating series, whether it is converging or diverging, the good thing is we have only one test. It is Leibniz test. Using Leibniz test, we are going to check whether these kind of alternating series is either converging or diverging. For this, we need two conditions to be satisfied. The first condition is from this series, I would have take only u n. I do not want to worry about the sign whether it is negative or positive. I am just taking u n alone and find the nth term and find n plus 1th term. And we have to prove u n is greater than u n plus 1. This is the first condition for all values of n. The next condition limit n tends to infinity u n should be 0. If this two conditions are satisfied, we can say this alternating series is converging. If any one of the condition is getting failed, then immediately we say the alternating series is a diverging series. Okay, let us go into the problem. We will take a simple problem first. Test the convergence of 1, minus 1 by 2, plus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 4, etc. up to infinity. It is very obvious the nth term is going to be 1 by n. I should not bother about the sign. I have to take only the data. So, 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, nth term is 1 by n. And n plus 1th term is 1 by n plus 1. Now, it is very obvious to see 1 by n is always greater than 1 by n plus 1 since my values of n goes from 1 to infinity. So, this is very obvious. The first condition satisfy. Now, limit n tends to infinity u n. So, now limit n tends to infinity 1 by n is going to be 0. So, both the conditions are satisfied. So, I can say by Leibniz test summation u n converges. Let us go for one or more problem. Test the convergence of the series 1 by 2 cube minus 1 by 3 cube into 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 4 cube 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc. So, this is an alternating series because we can see the signs are alternatively positive as well as alternatively negative. Now, we have to find the nth term. This is the important task. You see the first term is 2 second term is 3, third term is 4. So, nth term is going to be n plus 1. Either you can directly write that or 2, 3, 4 it is increasing. My tn is going to be a plus n minus 1 into d and the first term a is going to be 2 and the difference between these two terms are 1. So, 2 plus n minus 1 into 1 it is going to be n plus 1. We can get the term very easily. So, for nth term, we get the denominator 1 by n plus 1 whole cube because it is cube everywhere. Now, for the numerator, we can see first term is simply 1, second term is 1 plus 2, third term is 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, when we go for nth term, it is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. We know sum of the n term is n into n plus 1 by 2. This is our school formula. So, directly we can write this as n into n plus 1 by 2. So, now this n plus 1 and n plus 1 will get cancelled. We will be getting, we will be getting u n is equal to n divided by 2 into n plus 1 
whole square because we cancel this next we have to find n plus 1th term this is very easy replace n by n plus 1 so we get n plus 1 divided by 2 into n plus 2 whole square now my n plus 1 is ready as well as n is ready now my nth term as well as n plus 1th term now we found both un and un plus 1 now we have to prove un is greater than un plus 1 for this i can prove in two ways either i can subtract un by un plus 1 and i have to prove it is greater than 0 or subtract un plus 1 with un and i have to prove less than 0 both are corrected now i am doing un plus 1 minus un you can just check over this now taking lcm denominator is 100 percent positive now we have to expand the numerator when you simplify and expand this we will be getting minus n square minus n plus 1 since we say n start from 1 2 3 etc even if you put n equal to minimum value 1 it is going to be negative that is less than 0 so when n greater than 1 obviously for all the values the whole term is less than 0 so we proved u n plus 1 minus u n is less than 0 so u n plus 1 is less than u n this is what we want we can rewrite this as u n greater than u n plus 1 this is one way or if you are familiar with the other way you can go like this find u n minus u n plus 1 now take the same lcm and simplifying this we'll be getting the numerator n square plus n minus 1 denominator since it is whole square it is 100 percent positive now the same thing when you put the minimum value of n you'll be getting positive in the numerator that is 1 plus 1 minus 1 it is a positive term so it is 100 percent greater than 0 so u n minus u n plus 1 is greater than 0 so u n greater than u n plus 1 done my first condition gets over next we are going for the second condition limit n tends to infinity what will happen to u n this is my nth term so what i have to do i have to take n outside if i take n outside i will be getting 1 plus 1 by n whole square limit n tends to infinity so limit n tends to infinity n divided by 2n square 1 plus 1 by n whole square now n n get cancelled if you apply infinity 1 by infinity it will become 0 so problem over it is very simple therefore by Leibniz test the first condition u n greater than u n plus 1 satisfied second condition limit n tends to infinity u n is equal to 0 the second condition is also satisfied so summation u n is a converging series let us go into the next problem this problem is more convenient because nth term is given to us so when i take nth term i should not bother about the sign i just take the data n divided by 2n minus 1 next we have to found n plus 1th term so it is very easy i can replace n by n plus 1 so we will be getting 2 into n plus 1 minus 1 2n plus 2 minus 1 so in the denominator we will be having 2n plus 1 so we found our nth term that is un as well as n plus 1th term un plus 1 first we have to find un minus un plus 1 now taking lcm and simplifying this the denominator is going to be positive because we have 2n minus 1 2n plus 1 n start from 1 to infinity so it is always positive so we don't want to worry about denominator we have to think about the numerator simplifying this will be getting 2n square plus n and minus 2n square minus n plus 2n minus 1 denominator will remains same now multiply this minus inside we can see the typed version and now we can try to cancel the terms 2n square minus 2n square will get cancelled n 
plus n 2n will cancel with minus 2n. So we have only 1 divided by 2n minus 1. 2n plus 1. Already we said the denominator is always positive. So it is going to be a positive term. So un minus un plus 1 is greater than 0. Then we can immediately declare un is greater than un plus 1. Or you can further simplify this a minus b into a plus b formula. 1 by 4n square minus 1. 100% 4n square minus 1 is greater than 0 when the value of n start from 1, 2, 3, etc. So, first condition is proved. un is greater than un plus 1. Next, we have to go for the second condition. What happens when you apply limit n tends to infinity on the nth term? My nth term is n by 2n minus 1. So, now limit n tends to infinity. Take n in common from the denominator. We will be getting 2 minus 1 by n n n get cancelled. When you apply infinity, it will become 1 by 2 minus 0. Simply 1 by 2. This is going to be not equal to 0. So, the second condition fails. For Leibniz, according to Leibniz test, it has two conditions. The first condition should be u n greater than u n plus 1. And the second condition, limit n tends to infinity, u n should be 0. Here it is not equal to 0. Therefore, by Leibniz test, the given alternating series is not a converging series. It is a diverging series. Hope with these two problems, you get a clear idea how to solve problems on alternating series. Dear students, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.